Alright, welcome everybody to Five Nights at Freddy's, which at this point might be the most famous horror game of all time. Definitely in the top five or three. This game absolutely exploded in popularity, like, several years back. <laughs> and yeah, it's like seven or eight years later. 2014, yeah, eight years afterwards, I'm finally getting around to playing it. I actually have played it on my own, on the iPhone, but that wasn't nearly as fun, and this is the first time I'm actually uh, recording it. So, yes, this game will definitely be a step up in the horror aspect compared to uh, Baldi's Basics. There are actually some genuinely really creepy stuff in this game, but don't worry. I've played for the game before. I'm going to be here to lighten the mood and hopefully point out a bunch of Easter eggs. Also... I know a lot about this game, and I'm gonna try to get everything in the game, including doing the unbelievably almost impossible 420 mode, but I actually know the strategy to do it now, so we might be able to do it without too much trouble. Maybe we can get everything done first try. Who knows? I do know a lot about the game, but I want to also try to show off as many of the Easter eggs as I can. Yes, <laughs> very scary. I do like the title screen. The staticky camera and the creepy animatronic glitching out. It's great. Alright, well, let's start the game, shall we? Help Wanted, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizzeria looking for a security guard to work the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras ensure safety of equipment and animatronics. Not as responsible for dismemberment. What? 12 a.m. the first night. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. And this is the whole game. We sit in the office, we can't move. You just gotta look around. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I cannot pick up the phone. You'll have to open it for me. Hello. 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 Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to oh forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop up in front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. 
Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Alright, good night, phone guy. That was a long intro, but yeah, basically, we're on the cameras. We gotta watch the animatronics and shut them out if they try to get too close to us. Also, hello, Mr. Funnyman26. How are you tonight? If I am correct, are you the one who just followed right now? If so, thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Also, hello, Proxima. It's lovely to see you tonight. That's fine. Everybody is welcome to lurk if they want. So this game's actually not too hard once you get down to the basics of it. They basically can't really do much. <laughs> on the first night, at least. They're not going to move around a whole lot. We can just kind of keep an eye on the cameras. Yeah, they're all still on the show stage. It's a pretty tame night. Instead, we can look for Easter eggs. <laughs> You're on the fifth night on the console. Well, very nice. I'm going to try to beat everything in this game in one stream. Because I've watched way too many videos on Five Nights at Freddy's. I was, I was big into this series back when it actually was, like, first released. <laughs> and, of course, now it's, like, eight years later. And, of course, I'm behind on the trends, but that's still fine. It's still fun. Oh, Bonnie's out. Hello! Don't mind me, I just like to be in the dining area and eat the food. <laughs> it's way hard on the console. I hear ya. I played this and the second one on the iPhone. The first one wasn't too bad, but man, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is, like, impossible on an iPhone. Like, you, you can't be fast enough, really. Alright, yeah, they're just kind of chilling. First night is honestly really easy. Like, if you just wait till 2 a.m., don't do anything, and then just close the left door, you literally can't lose. Alright, where's Bonnie? Okay. Oof. That's one of the creepier images for me. He's just like... Yeah. Uh-oh, Chica's out as well. Yikes! <laughs> yep, yep. At 2 a.m., Bonnie actually increases to 1 AI level. That whole video di uh, dissecting the AI of uh, FNAF was really cool. I think Freddy just chills on the stage, unless we run out of power. Which we shouldn't. Oh, Bonnie's out. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's still in the back. Did I miss him in the backstage? We also gotta watch for Foxy. Okay. Everyone's moving. If the cameras go out, that means that they're moving. Okay, Chica's in the kitchen. I can hear her. Bonnie's now hanging out in the supply closet. Alright. We can just chill. Hi, Foxy! How are you? <laughs> we gotta check the lights. Bonnie and Chica will appear here. If they end up close. He's still there. That's fine. Chica's still hanging out in the kitchen. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. I think Bonnie just moved there. Yep, I can see him. Oh, Lord. That's one of the creepier parts of FNAF 1. Ah, uh, hi, Chica. You're, you're getting a little close. The hallucinations are definitely kind of creepy. Hi, Chica. Bonnie, where is he? Where's Bonnie? Did he move away? Where's Bonnie? I don't like not being able to see Bonnie. Oh, he's back in the supply closet. Okay. Chica's right outside. Bonnie's not there anymore. Man, I'm not used to Chica being this aggressive on the first night. Okay, Bonnie's back there. Uh-oh. They're getting kind of active for the first night. Oh, boy! They're both right outside.
Foxy, you're still in place, right? Oh boy. Do I watch anime? No. I have tried a couple of anime. It's just not for me. It's a little too screamy. Huh? Bonnie's not there. Oh boy. Okay, Bonnie's moving back to the closet. That's fine. Okay, Chica's moving away too. Okay, they don't really want to move to the room today. Which I'm fine with that. There we go. First night down. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> the second night. Here we go. Alright, this time I'm going to start looking for the Easter eggs early. Like Golden Freddy. Oh, there's also a really creepy screen you can get of the animatronics on stage. I probably shouldn't be flicking the camera on and off constantly. Freddy's ripping his head off in the poster there. I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. There are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, be sure to check the door light. You might only have a few seconds to react. Not that you would be in any danger, of course. I'm not oh, Bonnie's out already. Uh, hey. Also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Uh, I guess wow, Bonnie's already on the loose. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Yeah, night two, Bonnie starts out at a much more aggressive AI than the others, so... Kind of saw this coming, but still... Bonnie's in the supply closet. The others are still on stage. Very good. Very good. You got free Easter eggs on one night, and then you got Golden Freddy on the third night. Yeah. That's the same night that uh, Markiplier got him as well. Golden Freddy's one of those crazy things. Alright. And those of you who have literally never played this before are probably like, what the heck is Golden Freddy? Don't worry about it. I'm sure he's not important. Oh, oh Bonnie just moved. Alright, he's back here in the hall. The West Hall, it's really hard to see down the end of it because it keeps flickering. Shoop! They're still on stage. Foxy's still in behind his curtain. Cool, cool. <laughs> Rules! Don't r yeah, run. Don't yell. Don't scream. Don't poop on floor. Stay close to mom. Don't touch Freddy. Don't hit. Leave before dark. Some of those are a little disconcerting. Also, the fact that they have a rule for not pooping on the floor seems to imply that at some point, someone pooped on the floor. Man, Bonnie really likes being in the closet. He really likes the smell of bleach. I don't know why I keep... Huh. <laughs> hey, Dusk, welcome. Yeah, I bet you never thought Artie would be playing FNAF on his Twitch. Well, here we are. It's a strange universe we live in. 
We're on night two, and we're doing just fine. Got a decent amount of power. Bonnie's just hanging out in the closet with the mop. Freddy and Chica are still on stage, and I believe, yeah, Foxy's still behind the curtain. Yeah, if you if you want to keep chilling here, that's that's fine by me. So a lot of these strange like Easter eggs you can get just like a very small chance it'll appear if you go on the screen. Oh boy. Will there be jump scare? Uh oh. It's probably There we go. There's the first jump scare, minor one, but still. Alright, they're still chill on stage. There's Foxy. Bonnie's still there. I can see it through the window. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'm pretty knowledgeable about this game, but we'll have to see. Bonnie's still there. I can see his little skeleton in the window. This is the problem. On the earlier nights when the guys visit your room, they tend to just stay there for a really long time. Freddy doesn't really become a problem till night four. He can move on night three, but he doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, Bonnie's still just painting out. It's like, dude, I have your Starbucks order. Please let me in. I will not kill you. Super promise. Hello, Zukitos. Welcome! Yeah, 4 a.m. We're doing well. For now. Ah! <laughs> oh, Bonnie's gone. Cool. I hope that picture of Chica. Ah! Hi! Do you know where the pizza is? Uh oh, hang on. Where did Bonnie go? There, there he is. Oh, I know! I've made it- I've made it past Night 6, but of course I've only made it past Night 6 in the iPhone version, where the nights are shorter, so... Yeah. Well, the, how it works for Bonnie and Chica is, like, the higher their AI is, the more frequently they'll move around and the more frequently they'll reach your room, but the faster they'll leave. Whereas at low numbers, they tend to stay at the room for a while. And the reason why Bonnie seems more aggressive is just on average he has a higher AI setting on the nights than uh, Chica does. I don't like not being able to see where Bonnie is. He's not in the corner. He's not backstage. Where is he? We'll just keep the door closed for the rest of the night. We got enough power. And Chica can't actually kill us unless we put the camera up and Freddy doesn't move. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> hey, Movius, welcome. Am I going to do a Halloween stream every Sunday? Not every Sunday, no. I think after this one, I'll probably start streaming Friday night instead. Because next week, my whole weekend is booked. I didn't see him in the supply closet. Is it possible for him and Bonnie to both be in the dining room, but it only shows Chica? I don't know. Well, I don't have a whole lot of options, R.S. I can't stream Saturday, and I can't stream Sunday. So it's Friday or no stream. The battery's dying fast, but we've made it to 5 a.m. We've been at 5 a.m. for a while. There, see? Not to mention when the battery runs out, we still have a little bit of time before Freddy kills us, so... 
there we go. Ooh. <laughs> we'll work something out, don't worry. Alright, for a night. Statistics show this is where most people encounter Golden Freddy, so... Let's try to make that happen. Eh, I'm getting bored. Wow, Chica's already out. Oh, who would that's, be? That's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Uh, <laughs> You're not but, joking. Uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to... <laughs> Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh my gosh. On the flip side, Is Chica already in the corner? I added new emotes in the last few days. Uh, oh no, Chica moved back to the... <laughs> I used to think Chica was the creepiest out of all of them, now I think she's the funniest. Her expressions are less like, I'm gonna kill you more, like, ah, I'm looking for the pizza. <laughs> Do you know where that is? <laughs> this one's a little creepy, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, phone guy is voiced by Scott Coffin, who made the game and the franchise. Rats, no Easter eggs yet. Unless you count Freddy looking at you when he's alone on stage an Easter egg, which obviously I don't. <laughs> pizza! Bonnie and Freddy will stay on stage here until around 2 or 3 a.m., so we don't have to worry about them. Yeah, yeah, I knew Scott apparently had nightmares about Bonnie. That's funny, I've always found Bonnie to be the least scary out of all of them. Except when he appears in the backstage area and is just kind of like glaring at you at the camera. He's pretty creepy then. But other than that, not really. He's, just, he's always just been like basically Barney the Dinosaur. Oh, that's a good call. Yes, we gotta keep an eye on the fox. Spy fox. Oh, that's... Okay, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> she was just staring menacingly. Where'd she go? Oh, she's in the, ch the kitchen. With Dinah. Yep, I know. I know about Foxy. I know a lot about this game. I know the strategy for the the super duper hard night. So. I def. I definitely think that because Scott fought Bonnie was the scariest. That him. That motivated him to make Bonnie the scariest in the future, future games. Okay, still in the kitchen. Bonnie's still there. Still no Golden Freddy Easter egg. Or Party Time Easter egg. Or Rules Easter egg. Oh, Chica's in the bathroom's back there. I didn't realize animatronics needed to pee. Uh-oh, Freddy's out now. Those are his do his eyes back there. So now we gotta check both lights. Uh, we kinda got it. We kinda need it to turn to free. There we go. There's free am. Hi. Where's Bonnie? Don't know where Bonnie is. Oh, there's Bonnie. Okay. 
Freddy... Unless we're really unlucky... Unless we're really unlucky, Freddy's not going to reach our room. So, okay, Chica's back there. Bonnie's back there. Freddy's now in the ladies' room, even though he's a dude. Not cool, bro. Chica's in the kitchen. Bonnie is still backstage. Yeah, this is what I, this is the creepiest image of Bonnie, in my opinion. Now she's here in the bathroom. Yep, I plan I plan on doing that strategy when I attempt 420 mode. But for the time being, I do want to look around and see if I can find any of the Easter eggs. Okay, Foxy is being really tame tonight. Oh, <laughs> multiple sets of teeth. Hi, Chica. Do the footsteps guarantee that the animatronic is moving somewhere? Okay, cool. They're all they're all still far away. That's great. We can just chill out a little bit here. I like Foxy's psalm. Freddy is still Still peeing in the other room. My cat is jumping on stuff in the other room to try to freak me out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know the, I know the close the door strategy. That's a creepy picture of Chica right there. Nah. Uh oh. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Excuse me, do you have a second to talk about our learned safe? Thanks for leaving, Chica. Oh! Freddy's in the kitchen. Chica's back there. Is Bonnie still backstage? Oh, no, he's he's in the West Hall. My cat's not in the same room as me, so he shouldn't be able to see the gameplay. Chica's now in the kitchen with Freddy. Oh, there's Foxy. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah. The reason the animatronics are going crazy. Oh! Foxy is contemplating... Sh uh... Charging us down, and Freddy's getting closer as well. Hi! I was like, I don't see Bonnie. That must be he's at the door. <laughs> Cool. Night free down. No deaths thus far. Yeah! It's true. It's very true. Night four, 12 a.m. Come on, guys. We just gotta get through night five, then we can get our sweet, sweet paycheck. Hello, everybody.
Rip phone guy. Oh, Bonnie's out. Hello! I would like to be friends. Thus far, the only Easter egg we've seen is the Freddy poster turning into him ripping his head off. A <laughs> uh, phone guy just got murdered by the animatronics over the phone. That's what happened. Okay, Chica's in the kitchen. Uh, Buzz, <laughs> was that you? <laughs> oh! This also happens on the later nights. They start twitching. It made the same sound effect that Golden Freddy makes, so yeah. It's amazing how much detail was put in the game. Like, if you brighten up this image, you can see Bonnie's actually missing an eye. Oh! That's a creepy Easter egg! The crying g uh, children on the wall. That's one of the creepier images. Alright, Chica's back there. Bonnie's in the closet. Freddy is still in the, uh, dining room. Freddy, like... Uh, thank you for the follow, whoever just followed. I unfortunately can't see who follows right now, just because I only have one monitor set up right now, but I appreciate it, whoever you are. It's like, Scott Coffin just followed. What? <laughs> That's right, your battery drains more quickly on the later nights. You're still there. Alright, everyone's just kind of chilling. Was that really the 200 follower? Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Man, I should have prepared some victory music or something. Alright, Chica's definitely still in the... Okay. Oh, shoot. I was not paying attention to Foxy. Hi, Bonnie. That's not good. This big brain. If if you're not a, if you're if you're below fifty percent power, come three a.m. You're not doing too well. Oh, Foxy's here. Yeah. Okay. We got to be smarter. There we go. Okay, if I know Chica's in the kitchen, I don't have to bother checking the right light. Where's Freddy? Okay, Freddy's in the kitchen now. Someone's right outside my room. Uh-oh, we're dead. We're dead. Chica got in. Yeah, well, jump scare in free. <laughs> All right. Well, if we pull up the camera now, if we listen, there's Freddy's face. Come on, do the creepy moan. Jump scare in three, two, one. Uh. <laughs> Darn it! 
Rip perfect run. <laughs> Hello, Zuniga2011. How are you? All right. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, whoever that just was. Game over. We got stuffed in the suit. <laughs> Hi, Dust. Welcome. All right, well, we died on the fourth night. Wow, Chica must have... Chica must have gotten all of the perfect rolls for the random number. She went from the hallway to the corner to the door to inside the room in the span of about, like, 15 seconds. Wow, already with the hallucinations. Really. Wow, already with Foxy. Really. <laughs> Happy thanks. <laughs> We are definitely getting some people in chat that are here for just for FNAF. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's great to have you all. I don't understand some of the questions being asked my way, but... <laughs> I'm happy people are here! Alright, I should prob... Honestly, at this point, I should probably just focus on the lights and checking the cameras for Foxy. You know, we can we can try to find the Easter eggs in Custom Night. <laughs> Any plans for the other FNAF games? Um, probably not. FNAF 1 is my favorite. I think it's the best overall. <laughs> I do like this. Maybe I would play the Pizzeria Simulator, but, like, I would just play the, the simulator part. It's like, you want to put the duck pond in the middle of Chuck E. Cheese? You can! <laughs> wow, Freddy is on the move. He's already in the kitchen. Oh, that's bad. We do not want Freddy to be in the kitchen already. Yikes. Chica's in the kitchen as well. Okay! Yeah, at this point, <laughs> it's time to implement the ultimate strategy. This run is already screwed. I love your vote of confidence in me. If Freddy moves to the corner, we will have to take drastic measures. Yikes. <laughs> we are definitely doing well on battery. Okay, Chica's in the kitchen. Where is Freddy? I wish I knew where Freddy was. Anytime you hear that laugh, it means Freddy's moving. I I would argue Pizzeria Simulator has the most random luck involved. Part of that might be just I don't know how to play that game. Okay, Freddy's there. Freddy's in the hallway.
Battery-wise, we are doing better than on our first attempt. There we go. That's Foxy. But as soon as Fr as soon as Freddy leaves there, as soon as Freddy leaves that hallway, we are in trouble. Oh, I think Chica's over here. Nope, Bonnie's there. Okay. Freddy is now in the corner, which means we cannot move the camera. Great! Oh, thank you for leaving. Wait, hang on. Did I move the camera? Nope, there's Freddy. Yeah, this just got a lot harder. Now we have to hope that Bonnie will just leave eventually. So at this point, as long as we've got the camera on Freddy, he won't ever enter our room. Okay, cool. Chica's over there. So the only things we really need to worry about now are Freddy and mainly Foxy. No, OBS did not disconnect. Fake news. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Yeah, anytime I need to check on Foxy, I have to close the door, otherwise Freddy could enter in. I did not expect to have to have this on night four of all nights. Normally you don't have to do this till night six or night seven. Hi, Bonnie. The computer did not crash. Oh my god. I am so sorry. When I pushed the light button, it apparently pushed the stop streaming button. Uh, I don't think that was nothing. Well, at least I was recording all of that, so when I put the YouTube VOD up, you'll be able to see it. that you guys were joking about that. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> this would not happen if I had my two monitors set up, but I don't. All right, night five. It's time for the fi fifth night of Five Nights at Freddy's, and there are definitely not two more after this. Wow, Bonnie's already gone. 
Uh, phone guy's dead, so who's gonna call us? I thought I told my ex-wife not to call me when I'm at work. One thing that I have no idea if this is actually relevant whatsoever, but in my experience on the iPhone version, if you continually check on Freddy in on the show stage, he generally doesn't really leave. So that's what we're going to keep doing. We check the lights, and we check between the show stage and Pirate's Cove. And maybe this will keep Freddy in place. That's because there aren't a whole- Wow! Foxy is already ready to, uh, jump. You thought this game was different? Nope. You sit in one room and look at cameras. That's the game. <laughs> so yeah, we keep checking on Freddy in the, sh the stage, and he's not leaving. And we're doing pretty well on the battery, too. Because Freddy and Foxy will not appear in the light before they enter, Bonnie and Chica both have to. So you can just check the lights for them, and as long as you can keep Freddy and Foxy in place... Oh, there we go. There we go. So Foxy drained our 1%. Let's hope he doesn't come back. Hi, Bonnie. See, Freddy's, Freddy's just not leaving. He's just being pretty chill. This game is more ap atmospherically scary. Rather than, like, that's a genuinely disturbing image scary. And there are some creepy screens that you can see, though. For me, the creepiest screen in the game is... It's very rare, but if you look at the animatronics when they're all together on the stage, there's a very small chance that they'll all be staring right at you, and it's really creepy. I love that Easter egg. Yeah. Not a terribly exciting game if you play it like this, but eh. Okay, Chica, if you stay in the kitchen, that would be great. That would be really great. You see, I don't, again, have no idea if this is actually part of the game or not, but continually looking at Freddy when he's on stage, he doesn't seem to leave. Until you, his AI gets to a certain level. Hi, Bonnie. I gotta hope Foxy doesn't come around again, otherwise he's gonna be draining a whole lot more power. Someone's right outside. It's Bonnie! What a shocker. Bonnie, being a rabbit, is quite fast. 
Hello. Not too rough just yet. I know we died on night four, but night five seems a little easier by comparison. <laughs> Isn't this just riveting gameplay, everybody? Isn't this just the best? I know you're supposed to look at all the cameras to see them looking weird, but eh. There we go. Finally, we made it to 4 p.m. Or 4 a.m. <laughs> I've been here for 24 hours almost. <laughs> okay, someone's right outside my door. I can hear the garble glitching. Yes. It it's always Bonnie. Oh, Freddy's out. Now Chica's right outside my room, too. Oh, thank you for leaving so soon, Chica. It was very kind of you. Oh, man, we are definitely running low on power, though. I have never played Slender. Hi, Chica. I've never played Slenderman before. I know that was kind of the other big, uh... That was the other, like, big horror game of back in the day. Hi, Bonnie. Wait, I just realized I don't need to be switching back and forth to the show stage anymore. Wow, thank you. Okay. Now playing Freedom Planet 2. Good for him. Alright, we gotta... We're gonna have to hope that Freddy is nice to us when the power goes out. Hi. No, you know what? I just gotta hope that Foxy doesn't kill me. Oh, we didn't even let the power go out. Yes. Five nights at Freddy's is done. Not really, though. Good job, sport. See you next week. Pay me the order of Mike Schmidt, one hundred and twenty dollars. The whole game is just to get that one hundred and twenty bucks. The end. Except even though it's Five Nights at Freddy's, there's actually a sixth night. Because, of course there is. But we got a star! That means we're good. Alright, here we go. Sixth night. If you thought the fifth night was hard. Oh boy, just you wait. Honk for good luck. Chica's already on the loose. <laughs> now Bonnie is too. Womp womp. Womp 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 womp. Oh, 
Well, I think we'll keep our night five strategy. Wow, Chica. Rude, I did not invite you to the party yet. Thank you. Man, Chica and Bonnie are kind of reversing. Normally it's Bonnie who stays around for a long time. Or normally it's Chica who stays around for a long time. Now it's the opposite. Dang, yeah, Chica's just leaving in a hurry. Wow! Alright. Night 6 is way more active than I remember. Wow! Okay! Wow, alright, jeez. I guess that's the nice thing about once they're at a high level, they leave in a hurry. Good lord. Bonnie, calm down. This is not custom mode yet. Freddy actually looks kind of cute when he's on stage. Just a guy, I'm just a bear with the microphone. Subto, Subto Gamer Doge, hello, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. A game that nobody has heard of or played before. Definitely. Oh, great. Freddy's out. Thanks for the follow, whoever just did that. I appreciate you. Welcome aboard. Well, we tried to keep Freddy on the stage. Didn't work. Goodness me, 69% and it's already 1 a.m. and it's only 1 a.m. Uh-oh. Freddy is already in the kitchen. Can nothing stop him? Chica's in the kitchen as well. Oh great, Freddy's in the hall now. Okay, so soon. Gotta keep the camera on the corner now. Great. Freddy's here to stay! <laughs> he just really wants to party. I hope Foxy's playing nice. You never know. Hey, Bonnie. Wow, okay, yeah, Foxy's playing really nice tonight. Yikes. <laughs> At least at 3 a.m. now, and we're above 50%, so. This works. Hi, Bonnie. No, I don't have any carrots for you. Okay. Foxy is becoming a little more active. Bonnie, you really have a problem. <laughs> yes. 
Yikes. Yeah, okay. So Foxy's gonna be our main threat from now on. Uh oh. Hi, Chica. Just wondering when you would come around, sweetie. Wow, not for long, though. <laughs> what a party pooper! Almost pushed the stop streaming button again by accident. Because it's right next to the right door light. That was close. I should have closed the door beforehand, but all right. We are running the gambit now. <laughs> Why, that was almost bad. <gasps> Come on in, Chica! The water is great! <laughs> Come on, secret night. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Chica. Why are they knocking on the door when the doors are closed? <laughs> Hear that laugh? That was Freddy trying to get in, but the door was closed. Hi, Bonnie. I'm surprised we have not had the power go out yet. Alright. We may have to brave the power out. <sighs> nope, we don't! <laughs> Zero percent, we timed it perfectly. <laughs> 6 a.m. We beat six nights at Freddy's. Good job, sport! You've earned some overtime! Mike Schmidt gets $120.50. He's Employee of the Month. We did that whole night for 50 cents. On National Kindness Day, no less. Wow. And now, of course, it's not over. We only have two out of the free stars. Now we have... Custom Night! Which we can change the AI values of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. So, I mean... Obviously, we want them to go as high as possible. Freddy was not really balanced outside of... Uh, once you reach a double-digit amount of AI. So, this will be interesting, won't it? This was originally thought to be impossible by the creator, but there's now a fairly consistent strat to get through it. And it's largely what I've been doing, which is basically keep the camera on the east hall corner where Freddy can be. Only change it when you need to see if Foxy has run or not. Make sure you close the right door before you do that switch. Otherwise, just keep an eye on the lights for Bonnie and Chica. We will probably not do this first try because you do have to get a little bit lucky with uh, just getting enough time for the power outage and making sure Foxy doesn't visit more than once. But here we go, 420 mode. This mode is absolutely nuts. And we will probably die a lot, but I want to see if I can do it. Alright, immediately, 
East Hall Corner. This will take a while. Most likely. Remember that the laugh occurs anytime Freddy moves. So he, he's already in the corner. Hi. Let's finish. Bonnie and Chica are guaranteed to leave quickly. Wow. That's not good. Foxy is already on the rampage. Hi, Foxy! <laughs> wow, was not expecting him to be here this quickly. Alright, I need to be opening up the camera a bit more then. Wow. Game over. <laughs> well, I made it to maybe 1 a.m.? I don't. I couldn't even. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Alright. So much for first trying 420 mode. I knew I wouldn't, but, eh. I feel like the only option is, like, you've just got to open up the camera, like, every two seconds. Like, that's the only way to keep Foxy at bay, I feel. I'm gonna just check on Foxy. Oh shoot, I should be checking the cameras more! Yeah, you gotta be... That's my problem. I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast and precise enough with the button controls. If I could map to a keyboard the light and uh, door buttons, that would be a lot easier. Oh, well. Well, we can keep trying for at least a little bit. This will definitely be a shorter than usual weekend stream, though. The seventh night. You're not gonna beat this. Oh, yeah. I feel like you just got to get lucky with Foxy. I think Foxy is definitely the biggest problem. Ugh. That and the lights constantly staying on when you don't want them to.
Well, Chica's now right outside the door. Yeah, sometimes you click on the light and it immediately deactivates, and sometimes you click and it's like just it doesn't ma matter and it stays on, and that's very annoying. Freddy moves every two seconds. I can't see anything! Yeah, this is really... This requires a lot of concentration. Forgot to change the camera. <laughs> that was bad. Darn. Actually, that, I was doing decently well. No, I think I think we can do this. I was just dumb. I forgot to change the camera back to the corner before looking, and then that was all Freddy needed. <laughs> but he's just like, oh, I got this. <laughs> Darn. That was actually a pretty good attempt. We were almost at 3 a.m. and we had over 50% power. I want to do this, though. Like, if it takes me hours, then I will stop, but... She goes here already. So is Bonnie. So for those who don't know, every time I flick up the camera, Foxy will get locked for a random amount of time. So I have to keep pulling up the camera in order to make sure Foxy doesn't just book it immediately. That's not good. Foxy is already that progressed. Mm 
I wish the lights were more consistent of when they would turn off. Yikes. That was rough. We had all of them attack at the same time. <laughs> Let's not have that happen again, shall we? hate how Foxy keeps progressing really quickly. We cannot allow Foxy to go more th to our door more than once. And it looks like he's almost certainly going to, so... Thankfully, it takes about a minute from when Foxy decides to book it for him to actually reach you. Hi, Chica. This is not good. This is not going to be the attempt, I don't think. Oh. It's not even 3 a.m. yet, and we're well below 50% power. There we go. Okay. As long as Freddy is kind to us at the end. That's a big if, though. I must say, Freddy's laugh is deliciously evil, though. It's amazing. If we are religious about checking the cameras, we might be able to hold Foxy in place for long enough. Look at how much power that drained. I don't think we're making it from that alone. Foxy drained 6% power right there. We gotta hope Freddy's really nice to us when the power goes out, because the power will go out on 420 mode. Okay, just checking to make sure that was the corner, and not just the hall. Come on, 5 a.m.! not fast enough with the mouse. I'm just not. I'm also 
also not good enough at controlling the light switches. Yeah, we're not even at 5 a.m. and we only have 10% left. I gotta hope, I gotta hope that Foxy doesn't kill me now, and I gotta hope that I get the maximum amount of time for when the power goes out. Even then, it's gonna be really tough. Alright. Freddy's either going to kill us, or we're gonna stall it out long enough. Okay, this is a good start. Come on, play your song for a long time, Freddy. Come on, Tordor March. Nope. That's not enough time. Darn it! I think we would have got that if Foxy hadn't uh, bum-rushed us a second time, like, immediately. That's doable, though. We got close. We got close. I think we can do this. I want to see those free stars, man. want to see those free stars. Maybe that's the key. Oh, great. That was not the key. I feel like, yeah, Foxy is the problem. Because Foxy is very, very unpredictable. <laughs> and, he, like, sometimes he'll just stay put for hours, and sometimes he'll just instantly bum rush your room. It really just does kind of depend on luck a little bit. The seventh night of Christmas my true love gave to me Five killer animatronics in a pizzeria That didn't really rhyme, shut up. Already on trouble is on the loose already. Mm 
That could have got me in trouble. If Chico was still there, then I would have been dead. I gotta flip up the monitor every time I alternate from one light to the next. Hi, Chica. That's not fair. Why is Foxy already on the loose? This is not off to a good start. This is not off to a good start at all. Like, I swear you just... You have to get lucky with Foxy. I survived that. Chico would still be there! Doggone it! Ugh. Yeah, this is... This definitely feels like a night where you have to do everything perfectly and get lucky, which... is a bit frustrating. I think I'll keep up the attempts until maybe, like, 10 o'clock my time. I don't want to... I don't want to spend all my night uh, trying to do 420 mode. I got no stake in this game. I already beat the game. That's all I really wanted to do. And show off FNAF, because I'm the only YouTuber who's definitely done that. <laughs> to be fair, the developer never really intended this to be possible. So soon, Bonnie. Thank you for moving away, Chica. Never mind, she's back. Why the sound cut out just there? I've got a new plan. When I see Foxy has left, I'm not going to immediately close my door. I should still have some time after he's left. Like, I think it takes roughly one minute from when Foxy leaves to him actually reaching your room and jump scaring you. So I think if we... Well, that's the thing. Maybe when I check on him, I don't know how long ago it was he actually made the dash. 
Okay, when I hear Chica in the kitchen, that's great, because it means I don't have to check the right light for a little bit. So it looks like Foxy is not progressing as much to this round as he was in the previous one, so that's great. Run for it. Here we go. The big one. It's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to let's eat. Very happy Foxy has not left his playpen yet. I was wondering when Bonnie was to show up. from last time. Open the door! Great tonight. 3 a.m. We have 50% power left. This is amazing. Yeah, this is great. Foxy is being really cooperative. That was close. Bonnie almost got the jump on me. we don't do anything stupid. And we may still have to get a little lucky on the uh, power outage at the end, but... Okay. So Foxy visited us once. As long as he doesn't do it again, we should be good. I 
I hate it when I click the door button and it doesn't register that. Takes an already stressful situation and makes it worse. Chica's seen in a song over there. Okay. Foxy's already on the loose. I don't know what we did differently tonight, but for some reason we're doing way better on power. right outside the door. Okay. We stay here. We let the power run out. And we hope that it's enough. Foxy will not kill us. He needs to take a full minute to get here. None of the other animatronics can kill us right now. Yes! We didn't even know the power run out! Oh, dude! That was one of the best 420 modes I've ever seen! Notice of termination. You're fired. Reason. Tampering with the animatronics. General unprofessionalism odor. Excuse me, that was a very long and roundabout way to tell me I'm stinky. How dare you. Thanks, management. All three stars! Yes! Oh, and we even got, we even got jump scared by all the animatronics, too. That was great. <laughs> Man, three stars. And I, I, wow. I got free stars on Five Nights at Freddy's in under two hours. That's... Yep. Well, technically not all. I want to see if I can trigger some of the Easter eggs. So now we're going to go the opposite direction. Now we're going to do 4-0 uh, mode. Where the animatronics literally can't do anything. And I'm going to see how many of the uh, Easter eggs I can trigger. We've already seen a couple of them. We've seen Freddy looking at us on the stage. We've seen the Crying Children poster. We've seen Freddy ripping his head off on the poster. There's a couple of other stuff that I want to see if we can get, though, so... Turn all of you to zero. Boom. Seventh night. Alright, let's see if we can get the creepy image of them on the stage together. It's like low-key the creepiest thing in the game. They all look normal, but it, one, it, sometimes you open it and they're all looking at you. And it's really creepy. I can't wait for you all to see it. We can still lose if we run out of power, by the way, so... I'm not sure if it's like one in a hundred or one in a thousand, but it's very it's a very low probability. I'm gonna end up triggering it and then accidentally move it out of the way again. And then there's Golden Freddy, which I think is literally like a 0.1 or 0.01% chance of appearing.
Shoot. Closed it too quickly. It probably wasn't it. Some of the weird stuff has a decently high chance of occurring, but this is one of the ones that does not. I know just riveting gameplay, but... isn't when you want to trigger something it never happens, but when you don't, it happens with not too difficult, with not too much difficulty. Come on, do the creepy face. Oh, we also never saw Bonnie do his creepy face when he's in the uh, backstage area, which I argue is actually less creepy than his usual stare. He's just like right in front of the camera, making a derpy smile. Like, Dah. Wait, what? You're set to zero! Do their AI levels just increase as the night goes on? Alright, well the game does- I'll just show off an image then, and the YouTube VOD of what they look like when they're staring at you. It's very creepy. Or maybe unnerving is the better word. Oh shoot! Darn it. We missed one. There was It's Me written on the wall. Let's see if we can get the newspaper. Yep! Shut down due to sanitation. Local pizzeria Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has been threatened again with shutdown by the health department over reports of foul odor coming from the much-loved animals, uh, animal mascots. Police were contacted when parents reportedly noticed what appeared to be blood and mucus around the eyes and mouths of the mascots. One parent uh, likened them to an reanimated car carcasses. And there are two other newspaper ones. One of that talks about how a, a guy... Oh! Shoot, that was another one. One of them talks about how a guy lures children in the back room and then the children disappeared. And then another tells about how the restaurant's going to be closed by the end of the year. Alright, let's try to get the real one. Let's try to get Golden Freddy. Anytime you open this poster, provided Bonnie's not here, there's like a 0.1% chance that it'll change to the Golden Freddy poster. And then something truly magical happens. party. If not, there's another way of showing Golden Freddy. It's just not quite as interesting. Come on! I also want to know why the uh, animatronics actually are moving around when their AI is set to zero. It must be because the night increases their uh, AI over time.
Come on, Golden Freddy. Uh oh. Great, Bonnie's here now. Fantastic. So we can't even actually, uh. So we can't even see the Easter eggs. Fine. Basically, what can happen is the poster of Freddy can change into one of, like, a golden Freddy. You'll hear a little girl's laughter. And then when you put the camera down, like, an empty golden Freddy mascot costume will be in front of you and start glitching out. And if you don't, uh... If you don't pull up the camera again, then he kills you. You can keep trying to trigger it, but... I'm guessing the night's going to end before we get there. If the night ends, then I have one final thing I want to show off, and then we can end the stream. Waiting for that little gir girl's giggle. Which is actually Golden Freddy's giggle. Didn't trigger it. You can't trigger the Easter egg. It, it's literally random chance. That's all it is. It's like a 0.01% chance anytime you go over there. Yeah, yeah. They fire me even though I made the animatronic safer. Tried to figure that out. I, I like the, uh, the Torador march. That's pretty good. Okay. Another Easter egg, if you... So, there was huge speculation by everybody of, like, the bite of 87, which was mentioned in the first phone call. And they're like, I wonder if something interesting happens if you do, like, 1, 9, 8, 7 for the AI. Well, something interesting does happen. Are you guys ready? <laughs> That's the Golden Freddy jump scare. And he just crashed my game. <laughs> yep. He definitely has the creepiest jump scare, for sure. It's apparently the same jump scare scream, just pitched down and slowed down. Well, yeah, there we go. Five Nights at Freddy's. Every... I did everything, and I showed off as many of the Easter eggs as I could. I'll try to maybe, in the YouTube VOD, I'll post, like, still images of the rare screens for you. But, yeah, some of them are creepy, so maybe I'll put a warning there. But otherwise, yeah, cool! I, I was not sure if I'd be able to beat 420 mode, let alone within two hours, but we did, and that that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm very happy we were able to do that.